I am um, a weed scientist based at UWA and I'm trying to study and understand how weeds evolve resistance to herbicides. In this particular trial, we compare a known herbicide susceptible population to a putative multiple resistance wild radish population. This population comes from the north of WA where all the more resistant wild radish is found. We explore a very broad number of herbicide options covering most of the herbicide modes of action and groups that we have available. This population was multiple resistant to group B herbicides, to group I herbicides and to group H. We wanted to observe how resistance is expressed at the seed level uh, two leaf small plants of wild radish and four to five leaves and also how this uh, multiple resistant population would have responded to new herbicides that are in the development phase and in the pipeline and so they will be available to grow us in the next few years. Some of them reflect a standalone use pattern, others include a herbicide mixtures up to four different active ingredients all mixed together. We assess the, the biomass produced of those plants in response to all of these 55 herbicide treatments. To quantify and characterize herbicide resistance, we want to understand the response to different dosages of the same herbicide mixtures at different plant stages. So we will be able to have a very good characterization of what works and what doesn't work. In this particular tray, the plants are fully healthy because this is the untreated, so this tray has not received any herbicide treatment. Treatment number one, uh, was a uh, pre-emergent application of the full recommended dose of uh, Callisto. Works well on the susceptible population. The resistant population has greater survival, flagging up a potential cross-resistance uh, issue. This is another herbicide that we uh, tested. It is frequency in uh, combination with bromoxynil and the herbicide is fully effective on the susceptible uh, wild radish uh, applied to four to five leaves and you can see the resistant uh, plants. It is highly damaged but uh, some of the plants uh, are clearly surviving. When the same frequency herbicide is mixed with MCPA, fully effective on big radish plants when it is susceptible. This population, uh, it is multiple resistance also to MCPA and it is no surprise, uh, quite expected that uh, despite lots of damage, some of the radish is able to survive and uh, most likely in a uh, crop situation would set seed. Velocity apply two leaves, susceptible and putative resistance, it is virtually perfect control even of the resistant population. When you increase the dose to six, 670 to liter over there, the control was 100%. Susceptible and uh, resistant plants were fully killed provided that the herbicide was applied at two leaf stage. Going early here seems to be the key because uh, the recommended dose of velocity can uh, fully control in perfect conditions, perfect application conditions in pots can fully control a resistant population. Here we have two trays, two treatments of the new Bayer herbicide, Matino Complete, applied on small radish and yeah, it has worked uh, 100%. It's very promising. It's good news really, uh, given that resistance is, is never uh, good news.